All right, welcome back. So today I'm going to cover a quick product by um, Top Test. It's going to be the PT52 uh, PT520B plus. It's, uh, it's a gas combustion gas leak detector. And uh, it's really slick. I actually I love their um, this here. Yeah, PT 199. I use this thing all the time. I keep it in my veto bag here. So it's just uh, a lot more compact. So this one, this one's probably actually gonna get a lot more use than this one, but this one has just got a lot more features and as you were about to find here. So I'm gonna do it's got your gooseneck for long reach, L C D display, part per million readout, zero function. Oh, as you know, as uh, top tests, always at your temperature. It's always got a temperature sensor on their equipment, which is awesome. <clears throat> so what we're gonna do, I like to have it calibrated to, uh, usually you wanna calibrate them outside, but let's go ahead and get that thing calibrated. I'm gonna check these gas lines here. I don't see a regulator in here. That's, uh, I think the regulator might be way back there. So I'm over here doing a heating maintenance. So it takes uh, about 30 seconds to calibrate fully. And as you can see, got a really nice LCD display. Sensitivity here. Take that. High sense, low sense. I just love how uh, intuitive their products are. Parts per million level. So you got, you can choose between parts per million here, four percent. See area up there on the display. I keep it at parts per million. Keep my Fahrenheit temperature. So we've got 68 degrees in here. And that's the zero button. So we're not going to hit that just yet. So let's go ahead and get back to parts per million. Alright, so let's go ahead and see what we got here. Probably not going to be anything leaking, but gas line looks pretty legit. Sounds off. Put the sound back on. What's going on here? Definitely getting a hit here. There we go. Oh, it's so cool. What I found to be cool about it is. As you can see, let me turn this light off here. When I first start getting the hit, when I first start registering parts per million, it doesn't start beeping until I go into um, a higher zone. Let's turn this light off so that way we can see if we can see that display better. See how you're showing a very low readout? Watch when I pass this threshold. That's really cool, man. I'm gonna go ahead and so I'm reading low parts per million. When I pass, I think it's around 600 parts per million. Oh, there it is. Do that again. Yeah, looks like I said when you pass about a thousand parts per million. Then it's 
starts beeping. Otherwise, you're not getting a re you're not getting a beep. It's a big leak too. You can see this where the leak is here, up at the top of this union. Let's see if it's smellable. Oh hell yeah. Yeah, you can smell that one. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, this thing is um super usable. Very sensitive. Check all my fittings. See I can use that gooseneck. Let's just get around the back. Back side of the black pipe here. Like I said, I'm looking for, even before the beep, I'm looking for small hits. Small little. As you can see, it definitely starts reading parts per million before it even go back up here again. You can see it starts reading parts per million much sooner than the beep. That's really good, man. You know, when it gets strong enough, like such. It'll start to beep. So yeah, we'll see if we can go ahead and tighten that sucker up. And uh, finish this maintenance. All right, so I went ahead and um, tightened her up. As you can see, looking good. So yeah, man, this thing is pretty sweet. It's got USB charging port here. Not USB-C, but USB micro. It's not bad. It's usable. But yeah, let me know what you think. That's going to be the top test PT520B+. Okay, so um, another thing I found interesting. I was messing with this when I was cleaning up my truck, and I noticed it triggers with refrigerant. Uh, it's 410A specifically, so I know the system's leaking. It's very low. Pretty much a new system was installed like four or five months ago and it's almost empty, so it's going to have a big leak somewhere in here. So what I'm going to go ahead and do now is check, see if I can locate the leak. Matter of fact. I feel a little bit of oil. Before I take any of those screws out, what I'm gonna do Yeah. Son of a gun. That's a bad leak too. It's a nasty booger looking leak. Let's test it, man. We'll see. Is this gonna work? No, it's not registering with the same amount of sensitivity. Wow, look. Wow. <laughs> so that's that, gang. I mean, this is a less than $100. You can have a pretty decent leak detector. Now, don't get me wrong. This thing will go off with 
on most gases. So your issue is going to be essentially background contamination. But if you notice a clean background, take a look. Yeah, look at that. Just reading out the parts per million. Wow. I want to see how, if I can get right on the exact leak. All that out of the way. I mean, I could feel some oil, so we know it's pretty substantial. Oh, yeah, look at that. That come up off when I get to the and don't get me wrong it works it's just not as accurate Go ahead and try to zero it out again. Okay, let's try this again. There it goes. It's got a really nice sensitivity as well, I've noticed. So, yes, this thing does refrigeration leak detection. Let's see how it is comparable parts per million that I'm reading in this. Ah, uh, no. Not even close to comparable. So that read all the way up to like a thousand parts per million. And this thing was just registering like 20. Oh wait, I'm on levels, no wonder. Let's try parts per million. All right. It's registering. Two eighty, 
it's still going up. So, okay. It might be about accurate. 500 parts per million. High sensitivity. Let's put on low sensitivity now. So. More of the story is it works. It's just not a Impicon Stratus, but you definitely pay for Impicon Stratus quality, so. <laughs> just thought you guys might want to see that little experiment. Thanks for watching.